Man weaves quickly across the ice on skates, and manages to cross an obstacle with a single jump. With his skillful skating, he arrives with his goods on time every time. But today his way is blocked, because people are making way for the carriage of the richest Duke of St. Petersburg. He looked at the sign on the carriage and was furious at the inequality. He delays the delivery because of the road closure, which leads to unhappy customers, and the restaurant immediately fires him, and he loses his job in a heartbeat. Matt, who lived at the bottom, was so angry that he decided to go to the dukedom tonight to cause trouble. In the duke's mansion, a beautiful face is revealed under the frosted glass. Alice is the only daughter of the duke and lies in a luxurious manner, but she's not happy because her father dictates her life. Alice's desire for freedom and new ideas is stifled by her father. Her father was very rude. To discourage her from studying, he betrothed her to Count Arkady, whom she only met once. At night, Alice sits by the window, fretting, while the servant makes a wish. She says that if she looks in the mirror, makes wish and blows out the candles, the man of her destiny will appear in the mirror. Alice is a man of science, and she doesn't believe in it. But after the servant left, she went to the mirror and blew out the candles, and a figure actually appeared in the mirror. Alice immediately went to the balcony and bumped into Matt, who was hiding in the corner. Their first meeting was a bit embarrassing, but it left a deep impression on Matt. The legend of the mirror remained in Alice's heart. Matt lost his job and followed his friends to become ice thieves. They only stole from the rich. They didn't think it was stealing, because he believed that the rich survived by exploiting the poor, and that these things didn't belong to the rich. Matt's skillful skidding soon made him feed in with the team. One day, they stole two invitations to a dance. While his friend thinks that he will get more valuables at the ball, Matt thinks that he will get to meet Alice at the ball. They got all dressed up and arrived at the ball ready to do their thing. But Matt's eyes were wandering. He was looking for Alice. Alice is not very good at skating, and she almost falls. Alice recognizes Matt as the boy who appeared on the balcony a few days ago. At that moment, everyone around him said they had lost something and Matt subconsciously covered his pockets. Alice immediately understands everything, but she doesn't want to expose Matt. As a condition, Matt has to do him a favor. She was a beautiful girl from a rich family. Any necklace was worth a fortune. He was a poor man who lived on the streets, stealing from the rich. But the girl wants him to pretend to be her husband. Alice wanted to apply to a girl's school to learn advanced ideas and knowledge. But in those days, a woman had to get her husband's permission to go to school. Alice passes the professor's interviews with flying colors, and now all she needs is her husband to sign the consent form. But Alice didn't know that Matt didn't know how to write, and her application to the girls' school failed. But Alice thanks Matt for his help, and takes off her earrings and puts them in his hand. Matt doesn't want to be misunderstood by Alice, so he tries to catch up with her and explains. Alice is shocked. Matt returned the earrings to Alice, hoping to prove the dignity of the poor. She also changes her attitude towards Matt and they talk a lot on the way home. Before they parted, Matt asked her name. On Christmas Eve, Alice doesn't want to go out with her father, so she pretends to be sick and hides at home. When she is bored, Matt comes and takes her out of the manor. They walk through the bustling streets and crowds. It was as if they were the only two people left in the ice world. At the end of a night out, Matt and Alice kiss on the doorstep of their home. The woman puts her hand in the fire. Shocking to everyone, Alice debunks the magician with scientific explanation. She said that by mixing ethanol and boric acid and igniting it, she was able to create a flame that wasn't hot at all. Alice did this to resist the marriage her family had arranged for her. Her father betrothed her to the Count, but she fell in love with a poor man. When her father learns that Alice is studying on her own, he comes home, finds all her books, burns them, and locks Alice up in her house. Alice escapes from the house and comes to Matt's bed to talk to him wanting him to go to France with her. Just then, the police, led by Count Arkady, found the thieves' stronghold. He surrounded the place with a large number of policemen. Arkady wanted to kill them all, so his friend had to hold Alice hostage to negotiate. When Arkady saw Alice, he immediately agreed to let them go. But when Alice is rescued, Arkady continues to shoot at them. Matt fell into the water and was rescued. Only he survived. At this point, Alice thinks that Matt is dead and is engaged to Arkady by her father. On New Year's Eve, Alice goes to the window alone to be sad. Suddenly a familiar figure appears in the mirror. Matt sneaks in disguised as a waiter and buys to train tickets to Paris. The two of them leave the party immediately, but are soon spotted by Arkady. 
who chases them all the way to the train station. Matt catches sight of Arkady. He puts Alice on the train first, then stays behind to keep Arkady at bay. After a few fights, Matt defeats Arkady and catches the train at the last minute. But just then, Arkady pulls out a gun and shoots him. The bullet hits him right in the chest and Matt falls. But when Alice looks at him, he's not bleeding. The skate he hit in his chest saved Matt. Four years later, Alice returned, and she became a brilliant college teacher. Her mentor was Mendeleev, the man who invented the periodic table. If she hadn't been tied down by her father, she would have accomplished so much more. Now she is living the life she wants with her loving husband and lovely children, which is also a happiness. The movie ends here. Two young people with different identities fall in love on the ice. The beautiful cinematography and images of the movie bring the audience a wonderful visual and audio experience. Its ice images can also make people feel cool in the hot summer days.